Election Day in the UK and Brexitement is in the air. Brexitement defined as cheering for your team scoring before realizing they've scored an own goal. Greg Shapiro, United States of Europe, making fun of the EU the American way. It's the big day, election day in the UK, and poll numbers suggest a hung parliament. To review the British terminology, a hung parliament is when no party has a clear majority. A dung parliament is when the ruling party is hit with animal feces. And a flung parliament is when the entire House of Commons is catapulted into the Thames. Now, a key principle of any British election is fairness. And with that in mind, someone thought it would be a good idea to let Boris Johnson host a major NATO summit in London one week before the election. Visiting US President Donald Trump gave a ringing endorsement to Boris Johnson, causing Johnson's poll numbers to plummet. Boris is now inviting President Trump back to the UK to instead endorse Jeremy Corbyn. Part of the NATO summit was a report proving how surprisingly easy it is to spread false far-right misinformation via mostly Russian-backed social media providers. Facebook responded that they're already doing all they can, proving that billionaire Mark Zuckerberg is really not that different from the far-right billionaire owners of The Sun, The Express, and The Daily Mail, who remind you that Pravda is the Russian word for truth. One favorite theme of Britain's Pravdaganda newspapers is alleged anti-Semitism in the Labour Party. To put these allegations of anti-Semitism to rest, Labour leader Jeremy Corbyn was forced to change his name to Corbinowitz. And now it's time for my top 10 favorite Brexit jokes from around the internet, starting with number 10. Justin Trudeau and Emmanuel Macron signed a bilateral agreement to only gossip about Trump in French from now on. At number 9, while Russia is indeed cyber attacking the election of a NATO country, NATO leaders are reminding us of the time-honored rule, there's no fighting in the war room. At number 8, it's hard to prove Trump's dismal UK approval rating had a negative effect on Boris's poll numbers, but when you put it this way. At number seven, Channel 4 asks, has Brexit broken politics forever? The answer, no, just the Brexit party. At number six, this new Brexit advent calendar features only 11 windows and contains dust instead of chocolate. At number five, while Boris continues to claim that the NHS would never be privatized, Boris Johnson gives Donald Trump a couple of hospitals as an early Christmas present. And at number four, according to The Onion, Boris Johnson worried anti-Semitism accusations against Labour Party will hurt Tories' hold on the bigot vote. At number three, Boris and the Tories continue being called out for their blatant lies as Boris can continues to testiculate or to wave one's arms about while talking bollocks. At number two, the logic of ABC voters, anyone but Corbyn. And at number one from News Thump, we are the only party who can deliver Brexit, insists the only party that has failed to. <laughs> Thanks for watching, and please do subscribe, as the more I complain about social media, the more my numbers keep mysteriously dropping. 